guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and check out my content. I hope you decide to stick around. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Soul Squad. Also, hit the little bell icon to be notified every time I upload, and let's get into today's video. What's up, Soul Squad? For today's video, I do have a story time for you guys. I just ask that you bear with me because I do feel like death and I know I look like death but I figured that would just blend in with my channel since I do have spooky content most of the time so we're just gonna go with that and I'm not gonna let the sickness get me down today I'm gonna try to be productive and I want to go ahead and tell you guys this story while it's fresh on my mind because this is a recent experience and you've probably already guessed who this involves and yes it's me and my mom now the house update of everything that's going on will probably be the other video I'll put up this week so just hang tight and wait for that. That's another crazy story, but I wanted to go ahead and tell you this experience because even though it's not all the way paranormal, it has some twists to it. So I'm just going to tell you what happened, and I do have plenty of crazy story times that aren't paranormal. So if you guys would like me to spend some days just telling you guys the crazy, weird things that's happened to me aside from paranormal story times, I can do that too. I've had a lot of crazy experiences in my life, whether it be paranormal or not. So... Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead on and quit blabbling and get into my story. But the other day, we were pulling into my mom's house. I was with my mom, and we were going to go up to her apartment. So we pull into her apartment complex, and we had some bags in the back where we were going to get because we'd gotten some things at the store to take up to her house. So we're getting the things out of the back of the car, and we're getting all the bags. And you know how you just know to look sometimes? Your intuition just tells you to look. So, I got this strong urge to look behind us, so I'm gathering these bags, my mom's gathering some bags, and I hurried and looked behind me, and there was this man. Now, he was kind of tall and skinny. This is a real man, not a ghost, but he was in a black hoodie, and you couldn't see his face because it was dark out, and there was like one street light, so it was shining down enough where I could make out that it was a male, but I couldn't make out any more features of him except that he was in a dark hoodie with his hood up, and dark pants, dark shoes, everything was dark. And the only thing that freaked me out about this is the second that I turned around and looked at him, he ducked and crawled behind the car that was beside my mom. So the only thing in between us and this man was another car. And normally, I'll just face people. Now, I'll just go up and be like, what are you doing? Like, can I help you? But this particular time, my hands were full and I had a bad feeling. And I just told my mom, I was like, just get up your steps. Just just go, just go, you know, and I was kind of rushing her up to her apartment. And I didn't really tell her what was going on until we got up to the apartment. You know, we just kind of grabbed all the bags, slammed the door, and went up to her apartment and locked the door. And then I told her what had just happened, and she was kind of freaked out, you know, and I was looking out the window and couldn't really see anything because, again, it was pitch dark and the only street light was just on the corner, so it didn't shine anywhere where I needed it to at the time. But the freaky thing that I thought you guys would be interested in, besides just this crazy experience on itself, because I have no idea what this guy was, you know, doing or why he hid or anything. It was just kind of a freaky coincidence that he ducked behind a car. That's why I think that, you know, he might have been up to something no good. And if worse comes to worse, we would have faced him, just had to put down the bags. But anyway... We get up to our apartment, we're locked in, you know, and we're kind of talking about it, and she sees that there's a voicemail flashing on her phone. And this voicemail is from one of her closest friends, and she's had some of these psychic abilities since, you know, I guess since she was little, and she's been able to tell us some really crazy things. But, okay, just keep in mind that we just got up the steps, just got in the house, we're just sitting there, we just talked about this, but all of a sudden, we play this message, and her friend is on there telling her to watch out around her steps and she goes down that there's somebody out there lurking and like she basically told us about the man she didn't know about it she just said to be careful the next time she was down there and of course that had just happened so it kind of freaked us out that she kind of knew to call and warn us about something but you know we're safe nothing really happened we couldn't really do anything about it because we never saw the guy again wouldn't be able to identify him or anything for the police to come and Usually I'll just handle stuff, but this particular time we were just kind of, you know, busy with carrying all that stuff and I got a really bad feeling, so we just hurried and got up. But it just really freaked me out that her friend left that voicemail. So of course we called her like, how did you know that just happened? And she's like, I was so worried and there's been some other things I'm going to share with that she's told us about and 
not about this particular instance, but I don't know. We have the craziest stuff happen, like I said, whether it be paranormal or not. I just thought I would share that with you guys because it kind of blew my mind, and it was really interesting to know that she, you know, got that vision when it was happening because she had just left that voicemail by the time we got up to the house. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. I've got a lot of things to tell you guys very soon, but I just wanted to get this story up for you guys and let me know your thoughts on it and let me know your craziest experience, not paranormal-wise, but if you've just ran into something like a freaky person, because I've got so many stories, like I said. If you guys want to hear my other stories, too, like on a different day that's not paranormal, that are just crazy and... You know, it's weird that all these things happen to one person. I'm that person. But anyway, if you guys would like to hear those story times, let me know in the comments section down below because we're bringing so much into this channel. So why not just let you guys in on my life, even on that aspect. You guys can join all my crazy stories and just you're following me along on this journey anyway. So you might as well know how crazy my life is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the Soul Squad. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions of anything you'd like to see on this channel because it's just as much your channel as it is mine and we've got so much coming and so much going on that I'm just so excited to have you guys here with me. Again, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all your support. You have no idea how much each and every one of you mean to me. I just want to give a shout out really quick to some of my friends. First, I want to shout out to Sean. So if you're watching this, hey Sean and thank you so much for taking the time to read my book and give me your feedback on that. And I'd also like to give a shout out to my friend Brittany who sent me an awesome package which I'm going to show you guys a little later on. And yeah, I'm just really thankful for those two people that have shown their support and also Carl if you're watching this. Just thank you guys. You guys know why I'm giving you a shout out because you've done something. You went above and beyond showing your support. And I'd like to start shouting out people just to show my support for all of you that show support to me. And I'm just really thankful to have you guys all here in this community. But again, I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button now. And always remember, stay humble, stay kind, stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video.